What to expect from your property tax appraisal? Well, you're going to find out pretty soon. As a matter of fact, probably next week. Joining us is Bear County Chief Appraiser Mike Amesquita. And uh, I was joking around with him before we came on camera, telling him that this is probably his easy time of the year. And <laughs> I knew in reality it's anything but. Uh, Mike, we know that in all reality, our property tax appraisals are going to go up. Do you have a guesstimate or uh, an idea right now just how much we're talking about? Absolutely, Steve. You know, we see values in Bear County going up on average around 15.8% countywide. Some areas will be more, some areas will be less, but on average about 15.8. Um, we have information from the Real Estate Center at Texas A&M University showing that the average value of a home in Bear County uh, around the first of the year was $345,238. Our average market value is very near that at $342,000. So we saw last year a huge jump in estimates, uh, nearly 28% on average. Sounds like it's not going to be that substantial this time around, I'm assuming because the market has cooled somewhat. Well, the market is cooled in terms of volume. The number of sales is down, but the average sale price is still up. Uh, year over year, month over month, no matter which month you look at, even though interest rates were up significantly over last year, uh, the average value is still up. Uh, the good thing is, is if you look at our data from last year, because of the number of increases in homestead exemption from the county and city and, and tax rate adjustments, uh, that were required because of the three and a half percent cap in SB 19. Uh, most taxpayers in Bear County, around 70 percent of them, saw a decrease in their property taxes, even though it was one of the largest increases in property value. So hopefully, so obviously people are going to look closely at your property tax appraisal when it comes out. I think you're mailing 600 and some thousand out next week on Monday. It's going to the, the, the appraisal itself is going to look a little different, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, the appraisal notice historically has had an estimate of taxes right next to the uh, appraised value. In 2019, the state passed Senate Bill 19, uh, I'm sorry, Senate Bill 2 in 2019, which allowed appraisal districts to remove that estimate of taxes because that's not really something we can affect at the appraisal district. Uh, we can help you with your value. We can help you with your exemptions, but we don't really have uh, any way to adjust your taxes. So that will be gone in 23. So once these appraisals are received, they're opened, people have a chance to take some deep breaths after <laughs> looking over the information. If somebody wants to contest the value, says, nope, I do not agree with this, my house is not worth that, what do they have to do to, to provide that information to get that process started? It's really simple. I mean, on the back of your notice, there's a protest form uh, fill it out, give us an estimate of value that you think is reasonable for the property if you want to, if you don't have to. Uh, let us know if there's anything particularly wrong with the home, if you have any foundation issues, roofing issues, structural issues, those types of things. Uh, those things will all be helpful in helping you have a, a good outcome in your uh, property value appeal. Moreover, at the very bottom of that same document, when you sign and you turn in your protest form, there's a red box. Uh, that gives you access and gives me the authority to give you as a taxpayer all of my evidence so that we can help you have the best possible outcome should you choose to appeal your value. And a lot of people that's, you know, you can you can have a non-formal or I forget what you call it, a non-formal protest where you right, meet with the appraisal and you come to an agreement. That happens. Ninety percent of the time we do that. Yeah, that's what happens. There's only 10 percent of where it goes to the to the formal uh, appeal correct. process, correct? Right. Yes, sir. So if, if, if you if you have a case, make it. You guys will listen. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and let me just say this, Steve, it's really important. We learned something during the pandemic. We had to shift our operations. If you'll recall, we had attempted to have the governor allow us to not send appraisal notices out in 2020. Uh, that was a big no. So values went up in 2020. Values went up in 2021 and 22 and 23. But what we learned is because we went from a pandemic situation and we had to keep public safety first and foremost, we started offering virtual hearings. Those hearings have continued and allowed us to reach on average 12,000 more taxpayers a year, giving them an opportunity to be heard, primarily because of the convenience of it. Nobody had to take off from work. Nobody had to 
to find parking downtown. No one had to come downtown. Uh, nowadays, what we do is we have a system called Pointy, which allows you to schedule yourself at the date and time that you either want to receive a Zoom call, a phone call, or an email, uh, where we can discuss your property value and have an exchange of information. Actually, there's 94 percent settlement rate last year, and only six percent went to the review board. So, using the example you mentioned earlier about, let's say, a foundation issue exists with a home, what kind of documentation does somebody have to provide? I, you know, finding paperwork, it's a pain, it's a headache. So, what sort right. of steps can people maybe be preparing for in terms of knowing, all right, they're going to ask me for X, Y, and Z to prove this issue? Right. And so, you may have a report from your insurance company if you filed an insurance claim. If you didn't and you got an estimate from a, a a reputable firm, that's obviously going to be very good and compelling information for us to look at. Otherwise, uh, if you just have an estimate of how many uh, peers you're looking at having to install, we can pretty much come up with an estimate of what it's going to cost to repair that because we look at so many of these things every year. You can even take uh, pictures, other, correct? What's that? You can even take pictures, correct? Oh, absolutely. Pictures are worth a thousand words. You've heard that. Uh, but, you know, you can also go to your local realtor and ask for a comparative market analysis. They have access to all the sales. We do not. Uh, Texas is still a non-disclosure state, so we rely on taxpayers that share their information with us uh, every year. All right, Mike, I'm going to let you go on this note. How personal do you take these appraisal notices? I mean, if somebody protests, it's not personal to you, is it? But it, but oh. a lot of people are talking about, oh, the appraisals are too high. Oh, property taxes. Oh, this, oh, that. I mean, personally, you're just doing your job. Absolutely. But, you know, moreover, Steve, we, we just had a training with a lot of new staff yesterday. And the first thing I told them is, if it's close, make that adjustment. There's no reason we can't work with homeowners we lose so much value because of the appeal system set up for commercial property owners. I can't give away enough homeowner value to make a difference. So let's just try to get it as close to right as we can. And, and like I said, 90 to 94 percent of the time, we end up settling these things. My staff understands it. Everybody's under stress financially right now. And certainly my staff is no different. We own homes. We pay taxes here in Bear County, too. All right, those appraisal notices coming out April 3rd, but you got some options if you have an issue with what you find once you open it. Mike Avasquita, Chief Appraiser, thanks so much for sharing some time with us. Thank you for having me. And I hope everyone will come, come with us and let's go ahead and try to get these things fixed. Mike, thanks for making time for us. Thanks, Steve. We'll be right back. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.